AI2 has just released Olmo 3 family of models which is being touted as the best 7 billion model from the western world. If you go through their documentation, it is all about being American open source model which is trying to compete with Chinese open source free models like Quen. In this video, we are going to check out what exactly this family of model is. I already have done various videos where I have shown you how to get them installed and play around with it. As you can see on the channel, we have been covering these Olmo models for a long time and they have been evolving pretty steadily. The recent benchmarks make them quite interesting. So let's see what exactly this model is. I'm going to start from their AI2 playground and I will be testing out their 32 billion thinking parameter model and I will also be discussing what exactly entails in terms of all the checkpoints and data sets which they have released. So let's get started. By the way, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Please like the video and subscribe and consider becoming a member. And for AI updates, please also follow me on X as that helps a lot. So first up, I am in their playground and I will drop the link in video's description. I am going to check out their thinking model. I am asking the model to make a test that I write a sentence, you write three different completions, their probabilities and why you choose them among all possibilities in the latent space and sentences in 1947 in Australia. And let me run this and it is going to start the thinking process. Let me expand that and just focus on how it is thinking. And this is the whole family of open language models at 7 billion and 32 billion parameter scales, which is designed to advance open source AI by providing unprecedented transparency into the entire model development life cycle. This model flow includes complete access to every stage from pre-training data and intermediate checkpoints to post training recipes which is really really good because it enables deep research and customization and if you look at this thinking it has understood what i'm asking it to do and then it is going into two three uh, three different uh, threads just collecting different alternatives as you can see it is doing the completion it is checking the history and then you see it is thinking long and hard. It is also verifying the dates and it is saying it is valid. And this is the answer. So completion one, the nation was rebuilding after the devastation of the World War II. This is correct, pretty generic, but still good enough. And the common sense completion that con contextualizes the post war era. So this is, it is also giving the reasoning that white selected that answer another one is senate voting system was reformed and it is also giving the probability whether it is true or not so very honest model it is talking about 40th amendment and then bring out a brighton yep that is also quite correct so look uh, and then it is talking about why not other possibilities the answer is factually more or less correct but the way it has done the thinking and produce the answer is quite impressive, no doubt about that. And if you look at this diagram, this tells you all the stages which they have released, which is quite interesting in my opinion. So you see, um, there's a pre-training, the foundation of the suite is almost three base, which is, and if you click on it, it gives you that information. And it is trained on a vast high quality data set called as Dolma 3 Mix which features innovations like scalable deduplication and optimized token selection. And also then they have scaled the model to 60, 65,000 context length. And you can see the long context length here, you know, after that, what they have done, um, they have used this instruction SFT, which is simply supervised fine tuning for instruction following and then to align with human preferences they they have gone with dpu and then for reinforcement learning they have done instruct version thinking version and also with reinforcement learning with verifiable results so which is quite interesting because not only they have released all of them 
you can build upon different sort of checkpoints uh, let's say you want to do further research you want to build your own application and you want to do this development with every step inspectable this is the model choice you can make okay so you can see that the first one is quite good the answer i mean let's try one more for the next one i'm going to ask you to build me a time machine and i'm basically testing the coding here so this time machine would be a self-contained html file with a lot of interactivity and then there will be some transitions and then there will be some display and these are some smooth animations which i'm asking it to do so it is understanding that you see what it needs to build it is outlining all the steps after that it is identifying what could be the potential challenges and then it is drafting the code structure which is very impressive and you can see that it is just going step by step thinking the chain of thought looks really cool again the transition steps are there so it thinks holistically not just one or two stages but the whole of it and it is still thinking so i will let it think and then we'll go from there meanwhile if you could follow me on x and also like and subscribe that will be really really appreciated okay let's wait for it to finish and then we will check it out in the browser and it has taken five minutes to come back but now it has started producing the code so let's wait so it has produced this code and it says that it is interactive sm smooth mouse interaction three second temporal jump sequence real time clock display and this is what it looks like and i'm just waiting for three seconds they have already passed but nothing has happened i'm clicking on mouse i'm dragging i'm clicking left right click and nothing is happening so maybe i'll go back and say it's not interactive and nothing happens when i click the mouse let's see if it is able to fix the code or not it is understanding it and then it is checking the relevant function and i will just uh, check out during this second phase to see if it is able to fix or not if not then we will move on so let's wait and this is the second iteration i have already um, refreshed it let's click maybe i will just click outside there is some sound the destination changes to transitioning clock doesn't work three seconds have elapsed and nothing is really happening and now i am clicking here and there still nothing is happening so coding is quite average i would say it has identified the bug but it was not able to fix it anyway i will move on next up i am going to check out the multilinguality so i am asking you to translate all of these um, languages for this sentence which is spend less than what you earn save and invest the difference and then some additional uh, contextual elements plus some of the runic languages so let's see if it is able to do that again things pretty nicely by the way and it has started giving me the response if you are that language speaker please also help me out and i'm just scrolling through so that you could check some of them i already know and that they look quite good even some of the lesser known languages are quite good even the regional languages it has done well so in terms of general text tasks um, plus chat and the overall reasoning seems quite good other than that i think the coding is not the forte of this model and same was my impression for the previous models of this family which i have already covered as you can see i've been covering them for a long time and same is the case with this but other than that i think it looks like uh, a pretty decent model i would say another thing and what sets this model apart it it's transparency because they have not just released the weights but also 
training data code and intermediate checkpoints across all development stages and you can see even for the unique languages and fictional it has done well and even the gibberish looks quite interesting and the cultural notes around mandarin japanese and spanish they're all quite good and grounded and that is what we want so look i think pretty good steady evolution of olbo 3 but in my humble opinion i think it would take it bit more iterations to compete with the closed source model from west and open source models from the east let me know what do you think again please like and subscribe to the video and become a member of the channel and also please follow me x as that helps a lot thank you for all the support